Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. We are here in room six. Um, Blesk just found a book of secrets and read it, gained two clues, and gained one point of madness. But that gave her enough clues. Did we reset her clues? No. Gave her enough clues to... Uh, Where did my eraser go? Gave her enough clues to learn infallible missile so she's added that to her repertoire but she's not um, not able to cast it this dungeon I decided and um, I realized I think we had Elric heal Jim a while ago but we didn't mark down that he used that healing spell so I th think that's our bookkeeping if I was smarter I would have looked to see if we got Blesk's stats all squared away after we leveled um so let's look at that real quick uh we're going to the core rules we're looking up elf um okay we added her health right her health is four plus her level set's 10 starting wealth um and yeah i think she adds her level to her attack so that's six uh, so it's plus six, but she is carrying, I have a, I have dagger minus one plus two written here. So I think, yeah, I think she's normally wielding this dagger, which gives her another plus one because the dagger itself is minus one, but it's a plus two dagger. So she gets a plus one there. Plus her level is six, is seven. So, and then she gets another one, plus one versus orc. So this goes to plus seven and plus eight on her attack, which is excellent. I would love to be able to increase everybody's defense somehow. <laughs> um, and she is up to two madness. Okay, I think we're good there. Blesk and Throck. I took care of Throck's bonus. Okay. All right, back to the adventure. I think uh, after doing some thinking too, the, the numbers just aren't going to, they're not working out here. With my sort of on the fly trying to adjust the door lock, the locked door optional rule and the sturdiness rules. So it's really just more of an annoyance at this point. So uh, for now, I'm just going to, I'm going to not do this anymore. Um, if I come up with another way to handle it, maybe I will. But for now, let's just assume these doors are not. These are not locked here in the moldering barrow. Uh, maybe the doors are all so moldery that the, they, you just push them open. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we are in room six. Let's head south and see if we can get a connection back to the, um, back to the entrance here. That'd be nice. So we go through the door and we find 62. This is going to shape... Oh, it's just the crossroads. To the right isn't going to help us. That's not going to make sense. So we'll just go down like this. We'll leave a little passage that way. And now we are in a corridor for the first time in the abyss. Let's see what we've got here. 2d6. We'll get a 10. Traps. Oh dear. Roll d6 on the traps table. Okay. Traps. Oh, I don't like this. Ah. One. Dart shooting mechanism. Okay. This, uh, this trap, level d8 plus three. Six. That's a nine. Level nine trap. Attacks one random character with a poisonous dart. Each character failing to save versus this trap's level must save versus level four poison or take two wounds. Halflings and rogues add the barbarians add plus one. Okay, and uh, we're including our retainers here, our lantern barrier bearer and our sword, our spear carrier. So you're gonna roll a D6. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Uh, Jim. He's got 
to that's good because I think it would have killed <laughs> I think it would have killed our retainers uh, okay this trap d8 plus 3 we decided it was level 9 attacks one random character attacks Jim he failed to see he's got to save versus the traps level Two. he does not now he must save versus level 4 poison okay and he does not so he takes two wounds. Ouch. That was Jim. Okay. That was Corridor 7. And that was a trap. Poison dart. Okay. Ouch. All right. Well, let's keep going. We'll go south here. 36. 36. Oh, we got we got a wiggly. We got a wiggly room. Oh, uh, we are gonna come down like this. One over two. Did I do that right? One. I think so, because that's gonna bend around, yeah. Over two, up one. Over to you. This, this is there. Gonna turn this so I can see it. Oh, we got no. It's gonna. I'm turning it and flipping it. That's why it's hurting my brain. <laughs> uh, this comes down like they're just gonna make this work like that. It goes over another one. Is that true? Yep. And then down like this, and then over three. I think I messed this up, but. It's okay. Like this. Yeah, that works. Okay. We've got a door here and a door right here in the middle. And this is room eight. Okay. What do we have for us in room eight? Uh, eight, that's minions again. Okay, this is our third minion encounter. <clears throat> um, minions. After vermin. Here we go. Roll d6. One, four. <laughs> four d6. Hairy goblins. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Four, ten, thirteen hairy goblins. <laughs> Level six. Hairy goblins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. They are level six, normal treasure. One in six chance of a level ten goblin leader with four life. Okay. We do not have a goblin leader. Um, reactions. Okay. All right. Okay. Not this. I'm not. This is the least scared I've been. <laughs> Any of this. Uh, we get to attack first. Here we go. Watch. I shouldn't have said that. I probably, I probably doomed myself. Um, here we go. Throck, four. Plus his attack of six is ten. That hits one. He kills one right off the bat. Um, Elric, uh, yep, seven that explodes, nine plus his attack of two is eleven, minus one because he's still a feared is ten, and that's enough to kill one of the hairy, <laughs> one of the hairy goblins. Uh, Blesk, um, she, she as she enters the room, she has she could cast a spell or use her sling, but I think. She's going to take her turn to switch to her, uh, or sorry, yeah, to switch to her dagger. And Jim, likewise, is going to take his turn to position himself and switch from his bow to his, um, to his two-handed sword. Okay, so it's the hairy goblin's turn. <laughs> Did he?
11. There's 11 of them. Okay, now I'm scared. Uh, 11 goblins. So they're going to attack everybody. So one person will get attacked twice. Everybody else gets attacked three times. Throck gets attacked twice. So defense, 5 plus 1 is 6. He needs to beat it, so he did not. So he takes a point of damage. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, and the second attack on him, he fails. He takes another point of damage. Um, Elric. Elric. I think... Oh, boy. I think Elric's going to take his... So here's the deal. He has to have a free hand to... Uh, to cast a spell, so he's going to switch to his healing spell. Does he? I mean, Throck can take two more points. No, yeah, Elric's just going to attack with his hammer. One-handed hammer. Seven, that explodes. Nine, plus his attack of two is eleven, minus one is ten. He does, he takes out one. Okay. Um, did I attack? Did I just skip Throck's attack? I feel like I just skipped Throck's attack. He failed his defense, right? And then we were talking about Elric switching. I'm pretty sure I skipped Throck's attack. Let's do it. Throck, three plus six is nine. That hits. So Throck kills one. All right, Blesk. Uh, she has her dagger in hand. Four plus her attack of seven is eleven. Wow, she almost takes out two. And last but not least, Jim with his advantage. That's a six. Um, plus uh, six is twelve. He takes out two. They do a morale roll, and they stay in the fight. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, everybody gets attacked once. Two people get attacked twice. Uh, Throck gets attacked twice. And Blesk. Okay, Throck. That's uh, an eight. So, the first defense is fine. Second defense is fine. Elric. Elric, five plus four is nine. Elric defends. Blesk, four plus five. So, she, Blesk takes a point of damage from the first hairy goblin that's attacking her <clears throat> seven explodes so she'll beat that one so she's okay and finally jim five plus his defense of two is seven he defends as well now it's throck's turn to attack five plus eleven <laughs> uh, five plus six is eleven so he takes out a hairy goblin <laughs> elric three plus his attack of two is five that's not enough so elric misses Oh dear. Blesk rolls a two. She also misses. And oh no, two plus seven. Her attack is plus seven. Nine. So she takes out a wow. She takes out a goblin. And Jim rolls with advantage. He rolled a one there and a two there. Two plus six is eight. He actually takes one out. And now it's their turn. Somebody who've got three goblins left. Somebody will not get attacked. Two. Elric will not get attacked. Throck makes his defense roll. Six plus one is seven, so he does okay. Um, and uh, Elric does not get attacked. Blesk makes her uh, defense roll, and Jim makes his defense roll. Three goblins left. Throck, <clears throat> three plus six is nine, so he takes out one of the three remaining goblins. Elric. Two, plus he does not. He tries, but he uh, misses. Uh, Blesk, five plus seven is twelve. She takes out two hairy goblins with her dagger. Okay, <laughs> and that's that. Um, Throck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I think we better heal Throck. <laughs> uh, so before we're gonna roll treasure in a minute, but. Elric uses the healing spell. Two plus his level five is seven. He heals seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
That leaves Throck with just one wound. <clears throat> and Elric, we're now... He's only got one heal left. I don't like that. Because <laughs> um, we still have at least one boss left. The final boss. The tentacled brain that we're seeking. Okay, treasure for the hairy goblins. Normal treasure. Normal treasure. So we roll a D8. Two. We find 46 times 10 gold pieces or one item from the useful stuff table. Choose. Uh, we're going to take Elven Bread again. This stuff's great. One. <clears throat> one loaf. Elven. Bread. Uh, that's on four against the abyss, page sixty-one, and we're gonna get. We're gonna say Blesk is carrying that. Has the most impact on Blesk, so we'll give it to her. Okay. Uh, that was room eight. Okay. Let's head south. We'd really like to connect these um, corridors. If we do that, do we wind up having to do a wandering monster? I don't think so. If we, we're not retracing. Um, okay, what's here? Where's my thirteen? Oh boy. Uh, this is gonna be hard. I'm going south through this door. We've got this crazy. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's nuts. We're just gonna make this fit, <laughs> right? Because it could go down. It can't go down four. We can't really. There's no way to make this do what it's trying to do. We could just give it a hole in the wall there, and then the and then it just sort of ends in a dead end. Let's do that. So it comes down like this, but it keeps going over here. Up a little bit over and it just kind of ends in sort of a cave-in or something okay and that was um, this is gonna be a corridor it's number nine okay flow chart let's see what we've got Four. Unique events table. Is that where we had the book of secrets? I think it is. Unique events. Yeah. The dark plague is on here. I do not I do not I'm afraid of the dark plague. Mana sink. Oh my goodness. All spellcasters. Oh, events on this table may happen only once per adventure. Mark them with a pencil when they are rolled. If a marked event is rolled again, re-roll. If you run out of unique events, roll in the traps instead. Okay, so we've had the Book of Secrets. Now we're having the Mana Sink. All spellcasters must save versus a Power 7 Mana Sink or lose their spells. Roll once per spell. On a success, the spell is not lost. A success. Um, spells on scrolls and magic items are unaffected. Characters add half level. If the party moves through the room with mana sink again, do not apply the effect a second time. Save versus power seven mana sink or lose their spells. Roll once per spell. So is that a set? That's a seven. I have to do a. Save versus a power seven on each of their spells. Wow. I th okay, I think what that means is... Bless. Three. We did not save, so... Um, lose their spells. All spell casters. I think that means... Um, I think that means 
Elric loses his ability to bless. <laughs> that stinks. Uh, that makes this so dangerous. <laughs> um, is that right? Do, does Blesk have any scrolls? She Blesk has one scroll of blessing. Um, okay, well, that's... And then the heal, he's got one heal left. Five, he does not... Uh, that doesn't work either. <clears throat> okay, um, that's Elric. He's lost all of his spells. Um, okay, and now Blesk. So her spells are a little different. I guess we'll cross them out. She has three slots, and she has three spells prepared. The way I'm handling this. So that makes me wonder if I'm doing elves right. <laughs> um, let's do it this way. We'll do, we'll do saves. She still has her three slots, but she might lose the ability to cast... To, she might lose, uh, the, yeah, the ability to cast spells, <laughs> these particular spells. So, three, she fails Lightning Bolt. She fails Sleep. She fails, so yeah, she has slots left, but she forgets all her, all her spells. Maybe we'll do it, I don't know. I'm going to do it just the same way we did Elric, basically. I'm going to indicate it that way. It's a mana sink. All her, all her spells are gone. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> well, that is painful. Um, that was corridor nine with the mana sink. That is terrible. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's keep going. We, should we go? We're retracing our steps either way. So, uh, do, 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 there's a seven up there. We can go up here, we can go here. Um, let's head down to one and we'll head up this. No wandering monster. So now we'll head up to the Northwest. And we get 44. I've got a room. Which again is not really going to fit very well. <clears throat> 44. Uh, up to... How can I make this fit? I've got a room over here. I think I might redesign this. We're going to put the door over here. And now... Um, 44, we'll head over to, like this, and up two and down one, and, um, over two, up two, over one, okay, I think I did that right, and we've got a door in this corner. So, that's room 10. What do we have in room 10? Six on the flow chart. We've got vermin. Okay, it's our first, um, it is our first vermin, abyss vermin. Here we go. A little D6. We got a four. D3 ant people. D6 plus three. Ant people warriors. Five. Ant people. So this is vermin. Ant people warriors. Did I just roll a five? I, I think I think so. D6 plus 3 ant. Here, well, how many do we get? 3 plus 3 is 6 ant people warriors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I might have already rolled that, but. Um, level 7. And normal treasure. 
Before the combat, the ant people spit a chemical marker at the party. Each character has a 2 in 6 chance of being sprayed. Roll once per character, not once per ant warrior. Characters do not get any defense roll against this. Marked characters have minus 1 on their defense rolls for the rest of the combat and in any other combat against ant people. The only way to remove the marker is a blessing spell, which we just lost, or immersion in a body of water. If ant people meet characters who are already marked, they will not spray them. Wow, okay. Two and six chance, everybody. So, here we go. Throck is not marked. Elric is marked. How are we going to keep track of this? Marked. Elric. Uh, he's getting minus one on his defense roll. For, okay. <laughs> Blesk. Not marked. Jim, not marked. Okay, just Elric. <laughs> okay. Uh, Throck. He, so we're going to attack before the combat. Okay, they get sprayed, but um, now Throck is going to attack. Where are we? We're over here in 10. 5 plus is uh, 6 is 11. He takes out one ant person warrior. <laughs> uh, Elric, 8 explodes. He's tired of being sprayed by ant people. 13 minus 1 attack is 12. So he takes 1 out. Blesk with her uh, dagger, I suppose, because she's got no spells, so she may as well rock, rock, walk around with her dagger and her sling equipped. So she rolls a 6, uh, plus 7 attack is 13. Not quite enough to take 2 out, almost. Um, and Jim will roll with advantage. Um, oh, he's got his bow. Jim's going to take his turn to switch to his sword. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ant people. There's three of them. Somebody does not get attacked. Four. Jim does not get attacked. Okay. Throck defends. One. He fails. He takes a point of damage. And uh, Elric. Eight explodes, uh, explodes again, even with his minus one defense for being uh, marked. He easily defends, and finally, Blesk, six uh, uh, def plus one defense is seven. She has to beat it. Shoot. Oh, well, she, um, she takes a point of damage from an ant person. <laughs> okay, that's our turn. Throck. Four plus six attack is ten. He takes out an ant person. And the remaining two make a morale check. They stay in the fight. Elric, six plus his attack of two is eight. That kills one more ant person. And Blesk, uh, with her dagger, two plus seven is nine. That takes out the last ant person. All Jim got to do that round was put his bow away and draw his two-handed sword. <laughs> okay, so that's vermin. Normal treasure. Uh, D8. 7. One random item from the magical defense table. Magical defense table. Roll a 6. 4. Another magic shield. <clears throat> okay. Um, we'll just write it down here. Magic shield should we give it I mean Jim could carry it around he can have one just in case I'll probably do that magic shield plus two defense we'll say Jim has it um okay well that's that's room 10 <clears throat> let's head North. We have a corridor up here. I'm starting to pay attention to. Um, we might be running into our final room here soon. 
and that will be our final boss. So let's uh, let's see what is uh, beyond this room. Twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, it's a tiny, tiny little corridor. Uh, this is this is awkward. <laughs> corridor number eleven. And what pray tell is in the corridor three. Corridor. That's a trap. <laughs> oh. I didn't roll treasure on the traps table earlier. The flowchart here says if you survive a trap, you roll on the treasure table. So we'll make that after we hopefully survive this trap as well. Uh, we need to find the traps table. Here we go. This trap. Room 11 is a three crocodile. Oh my goodness. <laughs> crocodile pit trap door. A trap door opens beneath the feet of a random character. Okay, who does this affect? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Blesk. Uh oh. The character must save versus the trap's level. Come on, Blesk. She does. She makes it. Excellent. Otherwise, she would have fell into the fighting pit below taking one wound from the fall and then she's she would have been attacked by a level seven spiked crocodile <laughs> crocodile strikes first and fights to the death if the party has a rope they can help we do have a rope i believe a uh, character trying to climb out receives an attack from the crocodile if the party has no rope the character may climb out only after he has slain the crocodile Remains of previous victims in the pit have a 2 in 6 chance of having 8d6 gold pieces and treasure, but they may be inspected only after slaying the crocodile. So, my question is, can we descend into the pit, kill the crocodile? Uh, or do we just stay up here and pepper this thing with slings and bows and whatnot? A level 7 spiked crocodile with 3 life. Let's do it. I think we'll kill this. We'll aim uh, so 11. I don't see why not. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure we have a rope. I know we have a rope. Um, somewhere I have a combined loot table. That includes a rope. Uh, okay, 11. We've got a... What is this? Crocodile pit. trapped door now I could sit here and do all the rolls but um, I th well for fun should we do it for fun <laughs> rock with this bow two eight it's a level seven he does one point of damage um, the crocodile has three health and it's level seven so Throck hits it um, Elric with his sling explodes. 10 minus 1 for his tag is 9. He does 1 damage with this sling. Uh, Blesk with her, her sling. 7 uh, explodes. 9 minus 1 for the sling is 8. Plus 7 is 15. Oh, wow, that's plenty. She kills the crocodile. Okay, and then we use our rope, we descend into the pit, we roll 2d6, or sorry, 1d6, one, one but there's a 2 and 6 chance that there was treasure on the bodies down here, if there's not. But we do get to roll for treasure because we survived a trap. And we get to do that twice because we didn't do it on the other trap. Treasure table. So back at the... Back at the poison dart. Where was that? Trap. Poison dart. That had one item of jewelry worth 46 times 15 gold pieces 
Or one, we better start collecting some gold so that we can pay off our debt. Um, or, <laughs> what, uh, okay, I'm going to roll randomly. One to three, it's gold. And it is gold. So we roll 46 times 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 165 gold pieces, I think. That was 11 times 15. Just in case I did the math wrong. Uh, and then that's gold pieces. And here I get a 5. That's the same thing. Oh, and that was jewelry. This is jewelry, not gold pieces. Well, 165 gold piece, piece of jewelry. Uh, let's do it again. One to three, it's jewelry. Okay, it's a useful item. We're going to take another loaf of elven bread. Because <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay. Um, that was uh, Corridor 11. Okay. Should we keep going? Let's keep going. <clears throat> Uh, going north from corridor 11. What do we have? 36. Oh my gosh, it's this crazy room again. We're just going to connect it to this fella. Like this. Um... Maybe we'll give it a little, a little bump up like this. And do we put a door in it? Um, Thirty. What did I roll? Thirty-six. There's a door up there. So this wall is not here, and this is room twelve. Okay, room 12. Two, six, four, unique events table. This is, I, these were, so the unique events had the book of secrets, which was great. And then the mana, mana sink, which was terrible. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so we can only get these once, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. I'm going to roll a four sided die and see if we get two. Swarm of critters. The party is engulfed by a cloud of stinging insects. You may use a fireball spell to destroy the swarm. We do not have that. Otherwise, all characters automatically take one wound from poisonous stings. The swarm is automatically dispersed after that. Okay. Event Swarm of Critters. Everybody takes one point of damage. Okay. I think um, we're here in room 12. We have a door to the north. We have a corridor over here coming off of uh, corridor 7. So our final boss is going to be up there somewhere. Oh, we have a door we haven't opened up here in room 6 either. But I think, uh, I think this is a good stopping point. So we will play again soon. Uh, until then, friends, keep your lanterns lit and your hearts warm. Thanks for watching.